The annual We Can Arts Festival is back once again and is set to take place at the Durban Playhouse from the 22nd to the 24th of November. This festival was conceptualized to give people living with disabilities the opportunity to perform and showcase their talents. It is also aimed at celebrating Disability Month and will feature an array of artists from South Africa. Living legends Steve Kekana and Babsim Langeni will be among the artists that will keep guests entertained and now they join us here in studio to tell us more about the festival. Good morning, Living Legends, and welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, uh, how are you? Good, good morning, Pam, good morning, and good, good morning. morning to the viewers. Great to, ca to have you both here. Now, both of you, Living Legends, as many people refer to you as, have been in the industry for so many, many years. And yet, other artists who are living with disabilities seem to still struggle to get the recognition that you have um, received over the years. Uh, but Steve, I'll start with you. How do you think that this um, concert at the Playhouse will assist them? Bob Steve? Me? Oh, I, I thought you said Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, uh, well, just to, I don't know if just the, the this festival, I think, uh, I mean, because it's, it's, it's an annual event that will encourage them to, to try and uh, be like myself and, and Steve, though it has been my concern for quite a while now because uh, we are actually aging now and uh, I'm a bit concerned about this, uh, this uh, up-and-coming artist because we've made it under very difficult circumstances in the apartheid era. And I believe that because this is the, the, the government of the people, to them it should have been the sky is, is, is the limit, I mean. But now my problem is that I, we, uh, I'm trying to, to you know, I, I just don't know what, what, what can be done so that they, they must be able to be like myself and Steve. But Steve, why do you think um, artists who are living with disabilities have been slow to be embraced in the entertainment world? Well, I, um, what, what I'm thinking is that uh, we are a little bit fortunate now because technology has come and it has come handy. It, it was difficult for us to get what in the musical term we would call a deal where you will find a that you are signing a contract with a recording company because uh, there would be people like talent scouts who will say, no, we don't want uh, this type of music. You're not, you, you, it doesn't suit uh, you know, the market and all that. But now with technology here now, I believe that everybody has got a chance uh, of making it in the industry because if you get your computer and you get the right gadgets, you can record yourself in, your, in the environment of your own home and put it in the iTubes and all that. Uh, you know, people can get your music and uh, buy it. And it may, you make money in, in a real form of making money where you, know, you avoid the intermediaries that <laughs> the company will give you. Uh, small percentages. I mean, when I started, I remember I was being given two and a half percent for, for every for every record that I, I, I was sold. So, what we need to do now, and I think that we can arts festival uh, gives the people with disability an opportunity of understanding the the business it is important that when you get into the music business you 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 know the rules the do's and the don'ts it's the law law part of it intellectual property you have to understand all that you know uh, but but see it sounds as if um from what uh, Bob steve is telling us that there, there will be a master class to sort of give guidance and to educate these up-and-coming artists about the business of music who will be conducting um, some of these workshops? I tell you, it will be myself and uh, Steve Kekana. And uh, I think it's Joe, Joe Nina. Yeah, I think. Joe Nina will, yes, will be there. there. Uh, as you can see, Joe, 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 Joe Nina is a bit younger, 
younger than us, so he can actually uh, make a difference uh, to these young, youngsters. And that they'll also see Joe as uh, uh, someone who is, uh, because Joe jo has been working for us, with us for, for, for quite a while now. And uh, I think uh, uh, we, the, 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 he'll be able to, to get through better to, uh, with, with these young ones. And also, um, building up to this main event, there are a number of other activities that are planned that are aimed at supporting um, artists who are living with disabilities. Uh, but Babsi, can you take us through some of those events that have been put in place? Yeah, there, there'll be, on, I think on the 23rd, there'll be an exhibition, uh, if, uh, if, if I'm not wrong. And then uh, the, fo 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 the following day, then we'll be performing there will be a live recording. We'll be, we'll be performing with these youngsters and we'll be also performing with, with, the, with the choir and all that, you know. So we'll be part and parcel of this whole event. But Steve, mm -hmm. what would you like the artists who are coming to walk away with after having attended these workshops, after having been a part of the planned activities and, of course, that all-important masterclass? My greatest wish is that uh, the up-and-coming artists who will come at that uh, festivity is to walk away with the myth of saying to be a musician, it's like you're going to die a pauper, be taken away from them. There is nothing like that. You can make money in music for as long as you know the rules. And I'm, I will be giving them the intellectual property law lecture and uh, I, my greatest wish is that we need to see ladies in the dis disabled fraternity coming into the stage of being stars. I, I'm a bit worried, why don't we see disabled ladies being superstars? Uh, 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 we, my, 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 my aim is to try and get at least one lady singer from the disability fraternity uh, introduced into the high stage of musicians. Staying with you, Bab Steve, what else can other stakeholders, the media, the public, uh, what role can they play in ensuring that they, they do advance the profile of up and coming artists who are living with disabilities to make sure that the recognition is given, to make sure that uh, they, they're not forgotten and they're not put on the back burner. Bab Steve? Steve. Steve of, of All right, Bab Steve, you can answer. All right, okay, I can, I, can yeah. I can take that one. I mean, the media must actively take a role of informing correctly. That I must say. It, it, it must not be the case of the media <laughs> reporting terrifying or scary things about uh, the musical fraternity so that people with disability begins to be afraid of entering into that. Again, I think even the government must begin to support people with disabilities insofar as, you know, we've got about more than five national days. Where the government have the festivities, you find uh, disabled people not being represented in the bands that are performing there. The All only right. time that you see, you see disabled people is between November and December. All right, Bob Steve, that's where we'll have to leave it. Unfortunately, gentlemen, we are out of time. But thank you so much for doing this for these up-and-coming artists living with disabilities and all the best. Those were legendary musicians, Bob Steve Kekan and Bob Babsi Mlangeni, talking to us about the We Can Arts Festival, which will take place in Durban from the 22nd to the 24th of November at the Playhouse in Durban.